Seven, one to nine. Then Elisha said, Hear you the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel. And two measures of barley for a shekel is the gift of Samaria. Then a lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of God. And said, Behold, if the Lord uh, would make windows in heaven, might this thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thine eyes, but shalt not eat thereof. Amen. Amen. Ah, maybe let's take the rest. As she and Ogunye, that one is good enough. Gulungile. Amen. Amen. And let's also read uh, Luke 1. As Funde and Martin Aluka, Yokala. Verse 18. Verse 18. Mm -hmm. 20. Luke 1, and verse 18 to 20. Said unto the angel, What was the career going glossy? Where Besha, I know this. I am an old man. And my wife was stricken in years. And the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel. That is standing in the presence of God. And I'm sent to speak unto you. Um, unto thee to, and to show thee the great tidings. Behold, thou shalt be dumb when also by smooth is too not able to speak until the day that these things shall be because thou believest not when the words we shall be fulfilled in the sea. Shall we pray? We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the scripture reading. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for the sermon that is gone. Father, seeing your presence now fully here, will you continue to be with us, Father, to guide us, Father? according to prerogative. We commit all under the hands in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. The limit of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't limit him. Hallelujah. Amen. It's very, very similar to my little thought which I want to use to blend with my testimonies here. Paradoxes dispelling the whole question. Hallelujah. Amen. God has done, done so much. For us. He has promised many things. He's done a lot. And uh, we move into those things. And show you that He has done one. Five. And challenge you back. Are you still unbelieving? Hallelujah. Amen. Now, manje. Let me say this. Angisha logo. There's an issue. That is really become a problem. In churches. In individuals. In denominations. Even in our message churches. And that issue has become a real issue. Which we must fight tonight. And that issue is the how question. The how question. Oh, my brother. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can talk. And people can say, I have. But when you really get the plow down, they begin to wave their head. And say, wait, 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 wait. Uh, that, that's a bit too far. They believe so far. But they don't believe up to the end. The whole question. It's quite a critical question. And uh, that's. If God can help me to, to just put a nuclear bomb there, I destroy that whole question. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Because as long as you are saying, but uh, I, I, can, can, I believe but, I believe but, you are not believing. When we believe, we put off the limits and believe and go. It remind me one day Right in church back there. There was a little there was an old war veteran that came to church. Not, not, not that came to he was we, we I sent brother. What is court case? Open for court case. Okay. Just gone out. Open Just happens to be here. They just visited us. And they were driving. I said, You guys. Thank God you're here. There is a request. Go and take a man that cannot walk. From one of our sister groups. So they sent a driver there. Took him up. They brought him to church. For two years, he was suffering from an accumulating disease. Until he could not walk. He was confined in his home. His, his little hut couldn't go to the toilet couldn't assist himself he was right there there's a court case there he's a witness to this thing so we're preaching and giving testimonies and encouraging the people so after I, 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 I go to a stage where I thought I I've said enough I said old men stand up Oh, 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 oh. It was not oh. easy. Because he could not walk for six months. Amen. Amen. For six straight months. He was doing everything on back. They took him up. Right in church. And they placed him there. He couldn't even walk. But after I challenged him. Something told me that I've said enough. You know, do you, you came here to be ministered to and faith comes by hearing hearing the word of God and the dynamics have you had enough you said, yes what? What? my goodness me uh -huh. now, 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 now now we are talking something oh, do you believe it yourself not even able to do anything. I, I said, I've said enough. Walk. He stood up. And even the, the leg was like, it couldn't bend. But he went like that. And you, could, you could feel the pain. He was going like that. And ever since, ever since, he's walking. Hallelujah. Amen. But if it was somebody, he was going to tell you, but brother, you have not ministered enough. Like Naaman, you tell you, you must come and hit on the line and put me in the surgery in the little office there and do some gymnastics to get me to walk and get my leg bent a little bit. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You have heard enough. Faith comes by hearing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Am I saying something? Faith, faith cometh by hearing. If you have faith, your HIV will disappear while you are sitting. While you are sitting, if you have faith, your bones will mend up while you are sitting. If you have faith, your ears will open up while you are here. Even if you can't hear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Paradoxes. Indeed. Dispelling the how question. This little Lord that we read about here. It was too much of a paradox for him. To believe that the broken and zero economy of Samaria was not anything. He confidently refuted the prophecy. 
Elisha. And he said, even if God will open windows in heaven, these things that have said will not come to pass. What you would be tomorrow will be buying Dora for two. Flower Dora for two. Flower Dora for two. Young Aguta five quintillion. Go by on a system by five trillion. About Mangwana and Aguta for Dora for two. What was Sasa Tolo Bili? A Murgonamas. Nabonamanj. He went real psychological. Over Funo to me, do you some of the bond? He didn't believe. Arasana, he went psychological. Over Funadas and some calculations. What come out to the country? He thought about what well, it, 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 it must take at least ten years. What are they mean? I'm just saying about my shoe. Broken economy. What kind of son you're not or Opugile? Because he put it in the mindset. And he dismissed everything. You know what? Because he put everything in the mind. It's not needful for me to, to tell you about the lepers. I will find them and can tell you about the lepers. I will find them and come and go. Just believe. Call without knowing anything about the lepers. Are you getting it? You don't need to know the hope. Just leave it behind. You don't need to know the hope. Just leave it behind. Just leave it behind. Just leave it behind. Just leave it Go ahead. Go ahead. on. When you have such faith, I tell you you can receive anything from God. I tell you you can receive anything from God. I'm happy to say I'm a partaker of these things. I'm a partaker of these things. I'm a partaker of these things. I've tested them. I live by them. I sleep with them. I walk with them. I'm a partaker of these things. God can change even the mind of your doubt. I have seen that. Hallelujah. Amen. So, he didn't believe. And he made his proclamation. People were hearing. And Elisha said, Fine. You're going to see the answer. But you're not going to eat. Don't be that one, my brother. Hallelujah. Amen. He saw the answer. He didn't even go to the He was busy taking responsibility. Share what he didn't believe. And he died. He was crushed. But the answer was there. I ask you to believe my brother. I ask you to believe my sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things are possible. Amen. Amen. Don't you worry about how things are going to happen. That's not your part. That is not his part. It's his prerogative. To show you, or never to show you. But you must just believe and go head on. When somebody believes, you will think they are mad. Uh huh. Amen. I will throw in certain testimonies not even on my paper. But but they, they they come according to what I'm saying. A little girl came some years back. And she came to the office. Where's the office? At the height of the firehouse. And she said, I've been battling my parents because they heard this message. So uh, they only said, we, we may come to the message or we will come to the message if you pass your A-levels. With a good pass. They said, oh, that alone. I promise you 15 points. Now, when uh, the results came out, a teacher found her. Maybe a friendly teacher. He said, you got nine points. Over the phone. Now, because she wanted her parents to come to the lawn. She didn't go to the school. She came to the office. And he said, uh, Pastors, I am going to school to collect my, my, my point. But I've been found. That was nine points there. But I've come here so that you may pray for me so that I may go and get my 15 points. 15 points. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now I'm talking about paradoxes. Dispelling the how question. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the paradoxes? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We prayed for her. And after we prayed for her, we disappeared for, for some time to another direction. Then we came through the place. The the church, church. She was sitting on a bridge at, at the gate. We said, What is the problem again? She said, I'm waiting for the clothes that I must put on. Is somebody that was believing. She later gave the testimony. Somebody just came mysteriously. Gave her some clothes. She went to collect the results. 15 points. 15 points. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. My brother, <coughs> these things, let me, let me do with a bit of background laying because some of you will be shocked. The problem with the people, they have their Goliaths. But Baba no Goliath, Babo. They have their monyas. And they rate them so highly. Right? right? And now when the power of God supersedes the ammonia, they begin to die. That's why Saul insisted that you cannot beat him. Because he was the Saul was the monya in Israel. And he could not withstand Goliath. So he said, because he was the maximum. He said, now you can't. You are too small. Untrained. A little teenager. You can't withstand that thing. It's too big. Seasoned. Trained. And well armored. You can't do it. Why? He was looking physically. And he thought, if I can't make it, who can make it? But there was a paradox waiting. A little unarmored boy. He beat that thing down and cut off his head and took his spear away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, our God is able. Many have equated God's power with their known Goliath of the day. All their own mastery. Once achievements goes beyond their mastery, all the reach of humanity they begin to terribly doubt and question how can that be possible? One day we went to pray for a professor. I was with Brother Chandimara there. And uh, she was, he was having his wife. And they were being hounded. They were hounded out of a palace. They left the palace. And they went to live in a much simpler house. And we went there. And this woman now, she professed to be a very big Christian. We later gathered that she was, she was a Sangoma. But she disguised herself to be a Christian. She spoke highly about her faith. And and said, if it were not me, Professor would have died. If it were not me, Professor would have done this. If it were not me, so I thought, hey, this woman, she has got great faith. So I pulled out the bigger testimonies. Then he flashed one, flashed two, three, four. Said, yeah. Were you once a Sangoma? Obu is Sangoma now, Wena. Kwabona Galiswag. You see? We are Bonag. He's a witness. We had, quite, we had gone quite some journey. And we thought we had covered ground. Then we discovered we were speaking to a non believer. Satola, what is Kuman of Tonga Kolwa? Inkuns Malanga, Yom Tonga Kolwa. When we, when we, 
record those testimonies and flush them. She was mesmerized. Then he said, were you once a practicing sangoma before you became a pastor? I said, what? I thought you believed. And quickly she turned around. Yeah, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Ah, then, but we later discovered she was actually sangoma and she was not a believer. She was mesmerized by the depth of what God had done. My brother, my sister, the how question must leave it away for the dogs. When he's going, how, how, how? When he's barking like that, you know what he's doing? He's saying, I don't know who is bigger. He's, he's not even sure. Throw away the hell question. And believe. And you'll find all things are possible. It reminds me of a sister in our church. She had a mother. Who was suffering from cancer. That cancer be, became so bad. That it, it, they, were, they became a hole right in the armpit. Like that. The hole was, was deep enough to... to to have all this water poured in that hole. That sister was responsible for washing her. So she invited the mother to a church and we prayed for her. And she was healed. And that thing disappeared. She went back to the doctors. She was tested. No more. When she went back to the rurals, they said, to which Sangoma did you go But we are Sangoma. When she said, I was prayed for by a pastor, they said nothing like that. But I quit doing Chalo. There's no pastor that can do this. I get confused with Sangoma and Amen. Amen. Our God is the God of paradox. Hallelujah. Amen. So my brother, my sister, some have said miracles and paradoxes are for the past. They belong to the Old Testament. But Hebrews 13 verse 8, 8, 8 he refuses that. He says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Brothers and sisters, God can do anything. But he's looking for those that do care to believe. There are even paradoxes right there in the Bible. Second Kings 6 verse 47. They, they, they were cutting down trees. And their eggs fell and right in the water. They called up Elisha. Our eggs are gone. Can you help us have it by the power of God? Hey, Elisha, he called up this ex. And it came up swimming. And right on top of the water. Is that not a paradox? Right deep in the water. The force of gravity took it right down there. But he called it up. And it came up. Is anything too hard for God? You think about that Joshua. When he stopped that son. Is that not a paradox? Brother Branham was talking about Rebecca. He was saying, Daddy, the son doesn't move. Maybe talk about something else. But Branham said, it was the son that he stopped. Full stop. Full stop. And and the, 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 the light could not go to the other side of the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is the God of paradox. He did them in the Old Testament. And he did them in the New Testament. And he did them in our day. Through our prophets. And his ministers will continue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He made sure. Lazarus must be dead. Not only dead. He must be rotten. Not only a bit rotten. But four days. Until the sisters were saying. He is already smelling. We can't take you to the grave. But he appealed to their faith. 
If only you will believe in the resurrection and the life. And they are saying, yes, we know. You will resurrect. On the day of the general resurrection, he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Even now, Lazarus can come Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He appealed to their faith. That they must believe. And I'm appealing to your faith. That you must believe. And if you believe, my brother, my sister, I don't care what you need. I don't care what trouble you have. I can safely declare that God will do it for you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will speak a little bit and throw in some testimonies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was ministering in Rusape back home. Then I was saying, uh, people in the rural areas, I'm throwing a challenge to you. Because when you bless somebody with a car, and he happens to be a, 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 a dweller of the, of, of, of the towns. Even if you don't do that, when you say, receive your car, the mindset of the people will go to the townspeople. You work. So go and receive. You can receive that blessing. Because at least you work. You can receive a loan. You can save. But I said, tonight, I want those people that are rural best to believe what I'm saying. If you believe, God can give you a car without money. He will just give you. So I threw the challenge right into the church. And because we were in town, I said, can I have pastors that are responsible for the rural churches? If there is anybody to come and receive on behalf of his church, because you must in your rural church. Hallelujah. There, there was one pastor there. It's over. Amen. There was one pastor there there that was from the rural setting. So he was, he was trying to stand up uh, as a gentleman. And before he finished standing up, there came an old lady running and she came Where's that? and said, I check. What in like that woman that Can came. Where Ozi. are you? That woman that came. Aha. Hallelujah. You got it, my sister. You got it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. She okay. came. Amen. But now that one was quite elderly now. Until my brother. Hallelujah. It had taken the grace of God. It had to take the grace of God. Even for the preacher. It happens. When Elijah said, oh, oh the, the lady is coming. The Lord has not shown me anything. Let's go and find out. <laughs> Even Joshua, Not Joshua. He was tricked by those guys of I. When I saw the old lady coming, I, I something said, did she really get me? Into a The how question. But she came in how? She received her blessing. She's around maybe in the late 60s. God was wanting to, to demonstrate something. We finished the first service. And there was two hours in between. to come for the second service. And we came back for the second service. You will think I'm joking. Some deacon came inside. Yes, deacon. They called the lady up. You are wanted outside yeah, there. He said, no, no, when, when the service is on, I don't go out. 
Another deacon came. Where's the mum deacon? Mum, you wanted outside. Mum, you have nagalang apan. He said, I, I don't need service. What's the ang po ang po men konsu enemy? The third deacon came. Where's the third deacon? Where's that? And she literally took me by the hand. Where's that? Where's the pagami sanga sanga? Let's go. 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 And they went outside. Bapuma na ye. And what did she say? What ini? We na ibo na. Her son from Beatrice. In do dana ya ke suge Beatrice. And with his wife. Nongko suge zwa ke. With keys. Ne key. They said, Mama. But Mama. We are happy. Se ya chabula. We arrived safely. Unki se ya chabula. Have your keys. Na ziki. Hallelujah. 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 What am I trying to say? When the word is declared. Oma ezi ni si show in to. And you catch it. When I woke up on a logo. And you believe it. Oh, come on, Elwe. Uh huh. Eh hey. Then things will happen. In those years, Ega. God will move the elements. Onko no kolo zonyaga saita go. And it's only Him who is responsible for moving the elements. We are all for finalists. Let us know it. Your duty is to believe. In the way, no kolo go to Elwe. And His duty is to move the elements. Om seven swa kolo zonyaga saita go. Are you getting it? Niam tola na. You can believe while you're here. Oma kolo into yoto na na. And your home situation will rectify while you are here. You can believe while you are here. And your London or Canada situation will mend while you are here. You believe it this morning? All things are possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Come on and go see. One day, I was still I was still working, and I was seated in my office. In Mashingo there, I thought about my old friend in Harare. And uh, some things came to my mind. I said we we had challenges together. We we had the bad times together. He also testified to me the message. But now today. I go, I'm eating the things of faith. And I wish my friend to also partake. Right there. Something told me to phone him. I phoned him. I said, friend, we've been together on top of the mountain and in the valleys and in this and in that. But now, God has miraculous called me. And he has given me this gift. I never dreamed about this thing. I never thought about this thing. And many people have benefited. And I have also benefited. But I feel you must also benefit. I feel you must also benefit. I have blessed people. And they have added the things. I have blessed people. And they have received their healing. And several diverse things. I feel led to bless you. Can you say out your desire? So that I may declare blessing. At first, uh, he thought I was joking. But the presence that came out, I think for me, I was. For 30 minutes, I was numb. My friend said, Brother, phone later. Phone phone later. I, said, I will not phone later. Can you say your desire now? The more he said, Phone later. The more I feel agitated. I said, Say on. Say on. Phone. I'm waiting. And he began to cry. Wakala, wakala. He began to cry. Wakala, wakala. So for my brother. Amen. I said, Philip, Philip, I'm waiting for a declaration. What is usho. upon your heart? I want you to yako. say it. So that I may declare the blessing. So he said, what oh, I, 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 I want the Holy Ghost. And something did not register. There's nothing wrong about the Holy Ghost. That's our need number one. Anyone must receive the Holy Ghost. But this time, I thought he was trying to, he was trying to act very spiritual. It was not his primary need. He, I thought he had something that he needed. I said, Philip, there is something that you need. Can you 
you say it. I want to declare the blessing. And finally, to say to oh, what the restoration of Wenge. The restoration of Wenge. The name is Wenge. Oh, Wenge. And who is Wenge? Wenge was uh, his uh, uh, brother-in-law's younger brother. He was a Down syndrome. And uh, while that boy was in the hands of his sister was made to his... Uh, he disappeared. Now people, were, and that brother was, is now a pastor, but that time he was a chief deacon. And people were saying, hey, that man has got tokolosh. tokolosh. He, he just came to take this young man to, to, to use him for juju. So now he can't be found. And many bad things were said but about that brother. It put Lomfoyetu. his brother-in-law in a pressure. It put uh, Philip's sister in a pressure. And the brother, uh, this, this Down syndrome guy was missing for about two weeks. He couldn't even spell out his name. And also he was epileptic. So their greatest fear was that so he will fall down in water. So they were wondering. Then what will happen? Things are blackmailing us. People are blackmailing us. We can't get the boy. Until one day, the brother took some posters. Wife, I'm taking these posters. I'm going around. Sticking them all over. If I don't get this young boy, I'll not come back. I'll not come back. I, 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 I've heard enough of these things. Things people are saying too bad things about us. And the Philip was also helping helping them to broadcast that thing. This was in Rusape. Philip is in Harare. So you are helping them to put the information. To the CBC and and so this is the very time now. That the Lord has put it upon my heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To phone Philip. So if Philip you have a desire. Can you say it out? Can you say it out? Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he said Uvenge, I said, what about Uvenge? He said, he has been missing for one and a half weeks. He is epileptic. He is a Down syndrome. Down syndrome no, 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 I said, can you tell your son, your, your brother-in-law, that, that brother Gumisha says, I give you back Uvenge in the name of Jesus. When I when I put the phone down, Man, I, phone I was electrified. Everything, Everything around me was charged. I quickly went across the, 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 the road uh, to see a minister friend. Brother Mshano, and I said, Brother, can you expect something? Because Something happened over the phone. When I was talking to my friend in Harare, that person is enough for me to declare expectation. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Pastor, Pastor, beyond expectation for testimonies here. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, my brother, my sister, I'm talking about a paradox. God can produce a paradox. And a uh, when thi if for things to happen, you must believe and act out. When I was the Philip believed. If he had not believed, he would not have called his brother in law. He took, he, he took up the phone. What had I phone? He phoned the brother in law. So my brother in law, what is Bali? I've been sent by brother Kumiso. He says, Receive Wenge in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the brother was holding the papers. Ready to go out. So he said, Wife. I'm no longer going. Because I've received a message from Philip. 
He said, I should receive my young brother in the name of Jesus. And I believe it. I'm no longer going. Mm -hmm. I challenge you now. My brother, my sister, I challenge you to have a head on faith. I challenge you to have a head on faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When that happened, after two hours, after two hours, after two hours, after two hours a phone rang. A phone rang. Back. And Philip said, oh, Philip, what? Brother Kumiso, Kumiso. Ben has been found. Ben has been found. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you have a, 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 a missing relative, this is your hour. May I urge you, while you are there, to pray and to say, Father, Baba, direct the minister to my need. May he give a testimony that goes with my need. I have a Two pages here of testimonies. But I must assemble them according to your pool. According to your pool. Like my sister here. It's already over. Why? Something. Just went like that. My brother, my sister, I've ate these things. You can also eat these things. With this God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It reminds me one day we were in Kwekwe. Kwe. Kwe. I said to my pastor Marisa, I said, Pastor Marisa, what is your desire? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Brother, I want the Holy Ghost on behalf of Queen's Park Tabernacle. I said, Okay, Pastor, I'll give you that the God, the Lord, will give the Holy Ghost to your church. When I did, when I did this, all the blower people that way in the bench, they were smitten and they fell down. Now, we are talking about the paradoxes. We are now talking about the paradoxes. May I say something here? There, brothers, brother Madhuri sister there. Madusise. He called from Botswana. Oh, I like that testimony. He was praying for somebody. He was needing prayer for somebody. Was it meningitis? A meningitis. sister was on the point of death. She was just almost gone. And meningitis is a terrible disease. I said, brother, maybe you can finish it. Sister Tamba. Oh, Sister Tamba. The, Tambo. Tambo. The, he even says he's, she's no longer in Botswana. She's in Pretoria now. Right here, some of you may know him. May know her. Her. Sister Tambo. Oh, Sister Tambo. She was at the point of death. Can you lay hands on her? While I pray. I'm in Zimbabwe. He says Zimbabwe. He's in Botswana. And uh, we are on the phone. And he's laying hands. The part that I like. The part that I like. He was sick. But he thought more about this. Sister. So he didn't talk about his sickness. All his arm. He had a sharp pain even, even that was bothering him for days. And when I began to pray, the power of God hit on him and healed him. I'm pleased. Before going to the sister, he was healed. He didn't even ask. He told me later, brother, while I was putting my hand on the sister, when the power of God came, he hit me first. When I was healed, he hit the sister, and she was delivered. What year is that? Do you remember the year? Do you remember the year? 2009. She's strong. She's going. She's not here in Pretoria. 
We are talking about paradoxes now. Dispelling the how question. Your how how. You don't live it here today. You have to go believing. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. All things are possible. If somebody can believe. From across the border. What about you today? You are right here today. My brother, my sister. Before I can cover ground. Before I can cover ground, may I take care of the snipers? May I take care of the snipers? Snipers! Sniper. Receive your de desires in the name of Jesus. While you are there, I'm talking about snipers. Those that can take it from there. Amen. Hallelujah. I go beat by beat. The pink ones. When we are through, we put a rubber stamp. Snipers! Some sniper. If you are sick, if your wife was sick, if your husband was sick, whatever desire, I said, it's over now. It's over now. It's over now. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Is anything too hard for God? Is anything too hard for God? Can you ask your neighbor? Is anything too hard for God? Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. That will also take care for those that were dozing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Now, Manje, in Gwanda, Le Gwanda, there was a Makaita Mawarire, a woman that went missing. Um, she was expecting her two daughters to. To, to bring a new car and to show her. They were involved in a car accident. They all died before reaching home. She couldn't take up the stress. She lost her mind. And she disappeared and was never seen. So one of her boys and a young brother he said, Young brother, Let's go around. Let's go look for mama. They were having the posters. I didn't bring some of the posters. And they were going around the country. And putting posters. In shops. In shops. In shops. Restaurant. And until uh, maybe whatever money they had, it finished off. And he was moving as a pedestrian. Until the young brother he gave in. The, the legs got swollen and he even died in the hospital. The, the, the elder brother continued going. I will not go back home until I see Mama. So he was going every town and city. Every town and, and city. And one day, while in Mashingo, he went into a shop where one of our sisters was selling her ways. These shops where they have portions, portions, portions. He, he was distributing the flyers. So this sister says, Ah, brother, you must see my past about this. So he says, what? I've been to over 32 pastors. What is saying? You have over about 32. I don't know what kind of pastors. And as what in trouble? No fun. But I guess maybe the mapostory, whatever. Mta simba mapostory, mta simba. And he said it 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 has failed. What we should do? So he said, no, no, no. What is that? You have done that. But I'm saying you must see my pastor. It was many of them fun. This one galoko. So they had a bit of a talk. But the sister insisted. Let me call my pastor. What I'm fun alone fun this. So then I was just leaving. Masungo to go to Mashawa to our church. There was a funeral I was supposed to so attend. So the sister insisted. Pastor, can you please come what to my office? office? Then I went through a business. And then I saw this guy. And I heard the story. I said, bring the picture. Then I, I, I didn't even come out of the car. I prayed for 
said, God, bring Mama back home. The children are crying. Please let Mama come back home. In Jesus' name. I said, it's over. Then I drove off. I went to attend the funeral. After two hours, around about two hours, I received the call. call. Mama has been found. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Paradoxes. Indeed. Uh, dispelling the whole question. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will only leave this place when you are dozed. When you are dozed and drunk. Amen. Amen. Well, some, some, some will be drunk with three testimonies. Some five. Some are German tengis. Amen. So I'll take care of that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, my sister. Not with my God. Not with my God. My God is able. Amen. I'm going to say something that I was resisting to say. I say to my God, Father, Baba, my church is small. It's not able to do big things for me. But my employer, God, you are able to do big things for me. I said, may you please do them for me so that my church may know that you are my employer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Even if they will tie their pockets, you'll get me going. So I said, Father, I don't not, I do not only need a car. Because already I had a car then. Which God had given me. I said, Father, I want a fleet. You funa a fleet. Interpana yazo. I said, I want a fleet. Not a fleet of two, three. I, I, said, no, that's not a fleet. I said, I want a fleet. A strong fleet. I said, Father, I, one car, yes, it can take me anyway. But I just want a paradox around myself. I just want a paradox around myself. So that when they ask me, then I can talk about your greatness. Thank you, Lord. And the Lord, he began to give them. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, I put a ceiling. I said I wanted five. What you say is what will happen. I said, I want five. Then I found Philip. Philip. That friend of mine. I said, Philip. I Philip. I now have a fleet. When he came to see them, he made a confession. Which I know some of you already have done. He said, my brother, what I thought it was this Anglias and Alpha Sad and Crito Crito. No, Alpha Clear. No, no, no. Ka, 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 Come, ka. my sister. What's that, that? What's that? Receive all your desires. Yeah, I'm getting one of Also, your feet. Hallelujah. 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 My brother. Boy, too. I've cast. Kine moto. That God gave me. I'm not talking about buying. Yes, I may buy. I'm not talking about. Uh, don't, don't bother how they came. We are, we, are, we are not talking about the whole question here. We are talking about it. He gave me what, what I asked for. Imoto. He gave me what I asked for. Do you want to know their, their names? You want to know the names of the vehicles? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The latest one is a Prado. A Land Cruiser. A Land Cruiser. Amen. Amen. And the second latest one is a Ford Ranger. A Ford Ranger. Four by four. Four by four. These two are four by fours. Let's do four by four. And they can, you can go as long as there are no uh, pricks. You can go. No, you can go anywhere. And the other one. Any footy? Each one has an occasion. Any in a sense of all. It's an ML. It's an ML. The, the one that our president uses. ML. Long, 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 long
And the other one is a Volvo. He Volvo. The one that the, the chief CIO is using. I'm a chief CIO I seven sayo. And the other one Enya put is a ten seater for the family. It ten seater yom den. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I said Lord. Ati goes. I said Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, I, go see. I want the fleet. You put na ya moto. It's my need. Just yeah, so that I can have somewhere to start. To, to talk about my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't want to say this. But something said, say Lord, I eat these things. I live on these things. I dine on these things. I said, Lord, I'm living in, in, in the high density. This house is nice. It has got tiles. In a tile, and uh, it has got a jura hole. In a jura hole. And a gate. In a gate. But just for the sake of your name, will you please put, put me in the in the in the low density? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Will you please just put me in the low density? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's off. <laughs> Hallelujah! It's done. Amen. It's done. Hallelujah! It's done. My Hallelujah! Brother. Amen. Amen. It's over. <laughs> it's done. Amen. I said, Hallelujah! Just for the sake Amen. of your, for the sake of your reputation. Amen. For the sake of your name, will you please just put me in the low density? Because now the cars couldn't fit also. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you know what? One day I was coming from the convention. And I was driving Vancouver. my ML and we were going with the family. ML. And uh, I was about to... Uh, to, to go out of town. If you know Mbuzi, where this place is. Then I received a call. I said, brother, can you please come back? I said, brother, Mashingo hold his bed. Mashingo hold his bed. I cannot afford to come back. He said, brother, please come back. I said, brother, I cannot come back. He said, please come what I said, come here. I said, okay, where are you? So the brother was coming. Meanwhile, another brother phoned. He said, Pastor, what you said you want a lot density house. I said, yes. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting mine today. Will you please come and be there? I said, okay, I'm coming to get in there. I didn't have no scent. Amen. Amen. This one says, come. What I said, as soon as I arrive in Mashingo, I'll come over and be in that house. My, my brother, you have to believe. We call it a head on faith. Amen. Amen. And that brother, we waited for him within no time. He arrives. And uh, you know what he did? I asked that brother, I said, how much is that house? He said it's five hundred dollars. What? Five hundred dollars. I said okay. Not okay. I said ah, that's nothing. I'll take it. Without money in the pocket. I said, I'll take it. So this brother comes in. I don't know if you know what he wants. He said, uh, Pastor. What uh, This is what I was coming for. Then he gave me something. Put all tea This is this is good money. This one was refusing. Then then I counted. I counted. I counted. It was 500 dollars. 500 dollars. Oh. It was 500 dollars. 500 dollars. So I knew ben God had supported my faith. How many? Amen. You want to know the evidence? The brother that gave me that money is here. I said, brother, God has sent you to give me rent for my new house. Then he said, what? when I was coming, I said, I'm going to give the pastor 300 dollars. But when I saw you, something said five. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't come and go see. Praise God. I don't come and go. I'm talking about the paradoxes. You could have gained it. Amen. Amen. I, I have testimonies. You know, for us. But today I'll not talk about testimonies. Today I'll talk about the paradox. Man, thank you. So could have gained it. Amen. Amen. And um, you remember Elijah? Yakumbulu 
and Gehazi. They said, but this woman has been so good to us. With all this little house, this good food, this accommodation, what can we also do for her? What can we also do for her? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they call her up. Bambiza. What is your desire? Hallelujah. Yebo. Some may say it. What? That brother, he is the Shunammite woman today. Come on for my brother. What is your desire? What is your desire? What is your desire? What is your desire? Houses. Amen. Watch him. Pegan. Amen. Hallelujah. Watch him. Peganin. Is anything too hard for God? Later on. A brother in my church came and he asked me, said, Pastor, I need a house where you stay. I said, it's a dear place. You think you can afford that? He's a lecturer. So I said, I, I pay for 500. He said, ah, Pastor, that's too much. He said, hey, we're talking of Rodin. He said, no, 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 Pastor, that's too much. At first, I didn't understand him. But when he, be, when he continued in saying, that's too much, something, something said, into listen to him. Mamele. I said, what are you trying to say? He said, that man is too much. Leo Go and tell your landlord how much your landlord to reduce that time. I said, what? How will I do it? He said, uh, how now? You see how? how? You see how? That's what, that's what we are destroying to today. So he says, what? If you have been a good tenant with a good relations with him, if you talk to him, he will not want to lose you. I have houses in Harare. And uh, my tenant came and said, I can, I can no longer afford this rent. But he said, because I, I needed that, he was a good tenant. I had to reduce the rent on two occasions. So something said, yes. So, uh, see, so don't wait for the whole question to bring it. Are you getting it? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So I went. Gaya. I said, Mr. Landlord, can I see you? I said, uh, I have a story, no. I have a story, no. Uh, you know, I have a story, no. Uh, uh, no, I have a story, no. Said, no say on, say on, no. Say I'm free. Say on. So no, uh, this issue of rent, you know. He said, no, no, no. What, what do you want? want? Just say what you want. I'm very free, Pastor Kunisoma. So he was way ahead of me. I said, no, you see, my church is small. Oh, said, how much do you want to pay? What do you want to pay? He said, I'm, he said, I'm ready. Oh, I think you look Please, say what I'm Isho, ready. Isho, Isho. Hey, I said, what? So hey. I said, um, uh, uh, maybe if you can remove this 50. He said, okay, I'll remove 100. What things are couple 100? And he removed the 100 dollars. I'll copy 100 dollars. I was asking to, for him to remove 50. He removed 100. He said, you can pay 400. Ah. Mm. So, my other house is enough to cater for this one. It's a very small difference. I said, this God is dangerous. He can make Uy you. Hallelujah. Amen. My brother, my sister. So if you don't have faith, you will continue living in a house that you don't want to But if you have faith, from today onwards, you will live in the house of your choice. Are you believing there? Are you believing there? From today onwards. Amen. Go and live in the house of your choice. You believe that? You receive it. I want you to snipe it. I want you to believe it. While you are right there. Post testament to the pastor. Invite him. And say, Pastor, come and see my testimony. Come and see my testimony. All things are possible. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I, when, I, when I repeated this testimony, while in Chitunguiza Harare, something told me to call a sister from back there. Then I called up the sister. I said, Sister, come back, come here. That sister of the shower, come, come, come over here. Yes. She was, I'm, I'm demonstrating. I hope she will not think that I'm demonstrating. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My sister, Amen. whatever you desire, no more, you know, think, your sister. I've given you much. God bless you, sister. Amen. And know what happened? Amen. I called her up. I said, sister, what is your desire? He said, I want a good job and a car. I had repeated this, this other testimony. These ones was that I just talked about. That came within two hours. Then when she went back, are you single or married, sister? Where is your husband? Hallelujah. Okay. Did he congratulate you? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Exactly. Amen. Hallelujah. That's exactly Amen. how the brother congratulated the sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I told the church. I said, look at that. Look at that. I said, that thing will materialize. Why? Because the sisters believed. The husband is acknowledged. And is already acknowledged. And congratulated. Before seeing. So I said, that thing will materialize. My sister, my brother, whatever you desire, Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. He is saying the brother, he made a request uh, last week at church to say, I want a four by four for the mi missionary work. Yes, sir. Amen. So, Hallelujah. He's just confirming Amen. that something was taking place Amen. in that family. Amen. That's fine. Amen. It's over my brother. Amen. It's over my brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know what happened? Amen. After service, uh, the people were milling around until they disappeared. And there were only just, uh, just a few people. The church is walled. So, when we were just standing outside with the pastor, all of a sudden, we heard a strong scream. You know, our, our, our sisters, real sisters, they hold themselves eh? unless if they are hit by the power of God. So she was waiting. I, I, I said to the pastor, I said, that is the Holy Ghost. Leave it. That is the Holy Ghost. So she went, wow. And she was running around. Running around. And we watched. It was, you know, when... when when, when, the, when the sister is hit by the Holy Spirit, um, it um, 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 the dress will never misbehind. So finally, tuku, tuku. she went and she knelt down Waku, and she was crying. Ekala. She was praising the Lord. Ek, 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 I didn't even recognize Anza, an, that ape. that was the sister I had blessed. Oh, sister ben, ki, yeng, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Finally, tuku, tuku. she sobered up Pastors, you called me up and I received my job. Now, this sister of mine, this Man, of mine, she opened the phone and what do I find there? Her boss has invited me to come and take up the job. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That's in Pastor Matanga's church. A pastor, you can verify that. Um, the um, husband um, is a deacon. Um, it's called Brother Tomondo. Um, Brother Tomondo. 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 And after about uh, four to five weeks, the brother phones phones and said, the car that my wife received um, is now there. there. Now it's a call. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Manje. I think we've covered the ground. Whoever was in the department of housing, I say it's over in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to another department. I was in Chinoi. And we have a tending, we're having a tent meeting there. Seen a tent meeting. So I said, Saints. But it was after I ministered hard. And you know, as I minister, the Lord sometimes takes me in a certain corner to attack a certain demon, to attack a certain situation. And right there, I was attacking people that don't get promoted at work. And I was really attacking hard. I said, how can you be like an, a, a, like, like an eye? Always rolling on the same place. No movement. You must make peace. And be promoted. How can somebody be in the same position for 5, 10, 10 15, 15, 20, 20, 25, 25 years, same position. position and fanayo. And you want to convince me that you are not learned. Who told you that God depends on education? I said, who told you that God depends on education? Education is good. Education is And you must be educated. But if you didn't get the opportunity, then, but are, you, are we saying it's a limit, limiting factor? Amen. 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 So while I was ministering, my an, an elder brother, an elder brother, quite an elder brother, maybe you let's let 50s or close to 60. Or close to 60. He came right behind. Where's Below the, the pulpit, like that. pulpit like that. and he was looking at me like e, that. E, I, 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 I could tell that we were addressing something. I later learned that the man was a groundsman at an elite school. school. At an elite school. And uh, he's, he's only done up to grade four. When they were figure grade four. So he couldn't even make out. In English. To try and speak proper English. But when I was ministering, something challenged him that I am now over 30 years in the same position. So God is speaking to me. It's not this brother. God is challenging me to believe. So without me really uh, like talking to him personally, he knew that God was at this. So he went back to work and he made an application uh, to, the, to the principal. 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 Um, I hereby apply for the position, for the position to be an electrician. I, I, I say today I'm not talking about testimonies. These are the paradoxes. We are talking about a grade four who has worked for over 30 years as a groundsman. He can't even make good English. In fact, he gave somebody to, to, to put it in good English. Somebody wrote good English for him and he applied to be an electrician. Apply about electrician. The day of testimonies will come. It's Today we are talking about paradoxes. Now you begin to think has he been an assistant electrician? Well, assistant electrician. No. Ha. Did he ever work with electricians? No. Electrician? No. Ha. Did he ever train to be an electrician? No. Has no. he ever been in a workshop? No. no. Ha. Does he have a relative working, working for the electricity company? No. Ha. 
We are talking about somebody. There's a medication. They in the UK. He said, what you can do there is what we can do here. Until they said, the relatives will take you to Nigeria. Maybe to TB Joshua or something. She got challenged. She said, how can they take me to TB Joshua? And they said, you can only go to Balm and Gilead. How can they take me to TB Joshua? Is there no balm in Gilead? Then from there, she took the phone and she phoned me. That was 2008. And the, the, the international lines were not even accessible. But somehow, the line went through. Right on my phone. And when I heard it was Sister Mfuze, I jumped the other material. She, she, had, she, had, she had hospitalized us in her home. That's when I knew her. So when I knew it was her, I said, Sister, I heard your matter. Don't bother explaining. You hospitalized us. And the devil was not happy. That's why you have been hit. Now I cannot take that problem. I can't take it. That you should be in that situation. Also, I can't take it. That you should be disadvantaged tonight. I can't take it. That you should be disadvantaged tonight. I said, sister, I cannot take it. And immediately, I said, let's pray. Before I prayed, somebody said, no, express a blessing. And quickly, a, a, a psalm came in my mind. I said, Sister Mfuze, the angel of the Lord is in coming right by your side. Rise up and walk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We are talking of somebody who has born the generation. So out of their place, she is in an elevated bed because she once attempted to walk and she was damaged further. So they uplifted her bed and put those cages all around her. Can you imagine? No bones. Three dishes off. She's doing everything in bed. And when I said that, you know what I heard? I said, Brother Kumiso. Brother Kumiso. I said, Sister. Said, I'm standing. Watching me, le. I'm standing. Watching me, le. <laughs> this will be too much for somebody. I'm talking of somebody that didn't even have <coughs> full bonds. God is creative. God created the bonds. And he opened up the discs. Put them back in place. In a moment. In the twinkling of an eye. She only says, I had a soft touch what on my shoulder. The, the next thing, thing, she just found herself miraculously standing by the side of her bed. Hallelujah. Do you believe that? We have testimonies. Today is the day of paradoxes. Can you explain that? I said, sister, if you are standing, what can stop you from walking? You are saying, pastor, I said, brother, I'm walking. I'm going to run my bed. I'm walking. 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 I said, sister, if you are walking, what can stop you from running? I'm running. I'm running. Off she went. Amen. Out of the hospital, she went running. I thought she was in a in a, in a single private ward. What even I'm going to say? What in the private? I only learned learn, later on that she was in a public ward with what other people. They saw they a come. miracle and failing for the first. So sense that I'm going to go. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Is anything too hard for God? Since 2008. Or 2008, she's moving. She visited us last, last December. Just, just to come and say, you. just to see you. She was in Arare. She was in Yanga. She was in Mashingo. She was in Mashingo. Just say, I'm still there. Strong, there. Strong, there. Strong, there. Strong and going. I challenge you tonight to believe. Is somebody believing? Is somebody believing? Sister, come and receive your desire. 
Whatever desire I give in the name of Jesus. Something told me you are believing. Hallelujah. Let me go back to Sister Tayo. I said, if you have your money that is locked up and it is failing to get released, I release it in the name of Jesus. I release it in the name of Jesus. Right there, Sister Tayo was failing to get a compensation. Up to this day, the fellow sisters that were involved in, an act, in that accident who were also damaged. They never got nothing. So but her money, after about a week, they called her. Said, come and take your money. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. My brother, my sister, if, they are, if you are being old, maybe you have made something, maybe it's your pension. It's not coming up. I pull me. I unlock it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Also, also, if they are suing you for a monetary matter, I give you the liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over. My God is able. If he can create bones and heal HIV and give a fleet. What is impossible? Is anything too hard for God? I challenge you to believe. I challenge somebody to believe. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. We are talking about paradoxes dispelling the how question. Hallelujah. Let me talk about the testimonies that are here. I, I like one testimony. I like that one. It belongs to him. You know, Zimbabwe, Hallelujah. our challenges. Oh, my brother. What year was that? 2008? 2008. When things were bad. And the dollar was not even tangible. The, I, 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 I didn't know him that time. I didn't know him that time. But he introduced himself. He said, there's, 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 there's some people are in the community. They are putting down the electricity. As he said, Pastor, I don't have the money. To pay I owe them, yes. But I don't have the money. Speak them away. Can you finish that? Just I know ministers can go, but just briefly. Kafushan. Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, like the pastor has said, it was the first time when the Zesa were cutting electricity. Amen. Yeah, on that time, I was going them a lot of money. So, actually, I was in Maswingo. Then something just came in my mind. So, let me just phone Pastor Gumiso. Yes, I took a phone. Yes, I took a phone. And the phone came and says, Zesa people are cutting electricity. But I don't have money. Present now. Can you pray for me? Then on that time, he just phoned. He what, just prayed me what in phone. Corner life phone in. Amen. They were on the 11th Street. Bebe go level. I stay at 9th Street. Ushana go 9th Street. They cut 11th Street. Bangamula 11th Street. Came to 9th Street. Baza go 9th Street. When they were about to come to 9th Street. Masabe zogu zago 9th Street. They to jump 9th Street. Back out 9th Street. And they went to 8th Street. Baya go 8th Street. 7th Street. 7th Street. 6th Street. 6th Street. Amen. Until to the last street. And Something. from that time, they never came in my house. I had no cut off until the people knew that when the Zesa comes here, when you are on the line of police, they will never do anything. Uh, let me add another testimony. I still remember last time. I, I was just speaking to Pastor Gumiso. When he came for some meetings at Queen's Park, I, I just, I said, Pastor Gumiso, I just need a car. Then he says, I just received 
Watu yamgele in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nikamgacha Yesu Kristo. I had no money. Benga na mali on that time. Ali suskati. But all of a sudden, tugu tugu. Something just happened. Into yenzeka. I was from church ministering. I had a tent meeting at home. It was um, quite a long time. My house had no churawol. It was just nothing. The last time when I had the last service at home for tent meeting, I went and preached in church. After preaching, then after the service, another Sister came to me. Says, Pastor Moyo, what do you have preached? I was so blessed. So I've been with you for more than 10 years. And the God has been doing wonders on my side. So he says, in my heart, my heart is saying I should give you money. I thought maybe I was talking of $50, $100. Says, in my heart, I says I should give you $1,000. $1,000. When he was doing like that, he was, he was just talking, transferring the money. I went home. I mean, on that very day, it was, I think it was on the 22 of December. The way 22 is December. Then I said, I showed my wife what is happening. Then I said, okay, all right, I just need a, 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 a jurawo. What we do, we just ask the contractor who was also contract. Then he came right on that very day. Where's Angalolo Sugu? Amen. He just told me what we need to acquire, we need to send like this, like that. What is Zofuna? Shebe. Following day, Usugo that send was delivered on the same day. Usanti wa deliver Lisha Angalolo Sugu. Following day, they started. Taking the jewel, uh, taking the whole trench. Amen. Amen. They had to build the whole the, the jura hall. The following day, they had to paint the house. Then uh, what happened? When I finished the jura hall, I put it a sliding gate. I sliding gate. I had no money to buy anything. Then there was another brother. That was promoted in, in our church. I only saw him come and say, Pastor Mo, the Lord has done something to me. It was after a week you know. when I put a, a sliding gate. Came for a week and move for a sliding gate. Uh, I've, I've been given a company car and in a company company house. But I've bought a, a, a car. I've bought a car. Which is going for 3.5. I've come to give you. <laughs> now as I'm speaking, I, I have that car. Amen. Amen. God can do wonders. He is not a God. Don't limit him. Amen. Just be a believer. God bless you so much. God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Hallelujah. Is anything too hard for God? I think we are now together now. I see we are now flowing together. And because of that, I can grant you a hold. There is power, power, wonder waking power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power. Power, wonder waking power in the precious blood. Oh, there is power now. There is power. came through your way, a testimony just matched up with the situation. That's the end of your problem. Hallelujah. Amen. If you came here to get a blessing, that's the end. You are done. 
now Manje. they could be those that also would have wanted to lay the hands on our faith differs hallelujah Amen. we'll try to accommodate you before I leave this place hallelujah, hallelujah. shall we close our eyes As let's see the hands of those that want to be prayed for As it will be a fast lane that you know in fashion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Maybe we'll start with this row on my right. Amen. Amen. I'll ask the ministers to come. Let's make a, a row. A double row. Amen. So that the people can come in between. And then we'll, you, 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 we won't be talking. We'll just bless you. If HIV went, then anything can go. We'll just bless you. We'll make it a quick one. We want to be through maybe in 25 minutes. We want a very fast one. You just come. Amen. The song you will sing for us. Amen. Amen. And uh, the pastor can, the pastors can come. The, the deacons can help us. To make sure. Uh, the people can file and go back a certain way. And go back to their seats. Amen. 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 The deacons can do the ushering. That one first. Middle second. Then we finish this then one. Start. Amen. 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 In the precious blood of there is power, there is power.
Receive your desires in Jesus' name. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Well, I told Satan, get thee behind me. Well, victory today. Is mine. Victory, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Somebody push it.